So in the last video, I showed you how to take a vertex and a point and use that information to write the equation of a quadratic function that passes through that vertex and that point. We're going to continue working with that today, um, but the difference is now the information is going to be built into a word problem. So what you're going to need to be able to do is read the word problem, annotate the word problem, draw a pretty picture from your annotations, and then use the information from the word problem and the picture to generate your equation. So that's what I'm going to model today using a couple of examples. So example number one, we're going to read it and annotate it first. Amazing Larry is a human cannonball. Well, that sounds like fun. Uh, he would like to reach a maximum height of 30 feet during his next launch. Based on uh, Amazing Larry's previous launches, his assistant has estimated that this will occur when Larry is 40 feet from the cannon. And when Amazing Larry is shot from the cannon, he is 10 feet above the ground. Okay. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot of information, but there was a lot that was given to us in this problem. So what I don't tend to do with these problems is I will draw myself a little x, y axis. Okay? So this um, y axis is your height above the ground. Okay? Above <laughs> the ground. Trying to fit this in here, all right. Um, and the x-axis in this case is going to be distance, all right, from the cannon. Uh, if I was an artist, I would possibly draw a cannon now and show you that somewhere over here there is a cannon that Amazing Larry is being flung out of. Um, I am not an artist, so yeah, we're not going to do that. Or I'm not going to do that. You might. Um, so things that I know. When Larry starts, and this is really hard to read, so let me actually, let's see if I can do this. I realize I want to give myself just a little bit more space here. So let's do this and see if I can't pull some of this over. Nope. All right. So what I'm going to do, because it's really difficult for me to read this right now. Okay. So now that I've kind of moved it over, let's put height above the ground over here. So this way I can actually read what uh, my graph says. Okay. Um, so what's happening here, it says when Amazing Larry is shot from the cannon, so he is 10 feet above the ground. So we're going to give Larry a starting position of 10 feet above the ground. And he is going to get flung into the air. He wants to reach that maximum before eventually, hopefully, he hits some kind of you know soft landing at the end. Okay, so what's the maximum height he wants to reach? He wants to reach a maximum height of 30 feet. Um, his assistant has estimated that this will happen. So this maximum right here should happen when he is 40 feet from the cannon. Okay. Now, this doesn't look like a lot of information, but we actually have everything we need right now to write the equation, okay? So this first point right here, Larry is no feet from the cannon, right? He's in the cannon, but he is 10 feet above ground. This maximum point is 40 feet away from the cannon and 30 feet high. So what we've just found is we now know our vertex is the point 40, 30, and we have some other point, and I'm just going to label it point, as 0, 10. Now if you remember the last video when we talked about uh, vertex form and writing equations given a vertex and a point, your vertex is HK. And any other point on the parabola, well, really any point, is always labeled as x, y. So let's use this information. Remember vertex form, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So let's replace y with 10. a is the part we don't know. x is 0 minus 40 squared plus 30. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 30 from both sides. I'm going to get negative 20 is equal to a times 0 minus 40 is negative 40. Negative 40 squared, I am going to grab my calculator and double check that, is 1600, 1600. All right, so this is going to be a times negative, uh, nope, should be positive, 1600. Divide both sides by 1600. And I'm going to get an a value here of something I know that fraction reduces. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with negative 1 over 80. Okay. So after all this work, we actually want to write the equation. So the equation here, we're going to talk about f of x is equal to, your a value is negative 1 over 80, x minus 40 is your h value squared, plus 30 is your k value. So this is the equation that models Larry, the amazing Larry, the human cannonball, uh, being shot from a cannon 10 feet above the ground, hitting a maximum height of 40, uh, no, maximum height of 30 after he is 40 feet from the cannon. Okay, so that's the first example. We're going to go through another one here. So Larry was our human cannonball. Now we have crazy Cornelius, who is a fire jumper. Okay, he is attempting to jump through a ring of fire. That will be things I will not be trying to do. Uh, in order for Cornelius to successfully complete the jump, he will need to reach a maximum height of six feet when he is three feet horizontal from the start of his jump. Write a function to model a successful jump where the height Cornelius jumps is dependent on his horizontal distance. Okay, so... We have, again, we're going to draw a little picture here. And no, I'm not going to draw Cornelius, okay? But I am going to say that this is your height. And then this is the, uh, actually, what did I label it as? So horizontal distance from start of jump, okay? So what's going on here is we're going to start Cornelius right there. That's a little stick figure, all right? So Cornelius at that point is on the ground, right? He has a height of zero feet, and he is zero feet from his horizontal position. He hasn't moved yet, okay? But what Cornelius is going to do is he is going to jump, and he needs to hit a maximum height of six feet when he is two feet horizontally from where he started from. That will allow him to get through that fire ring. So let's put it together and let's talk about this maximum. Well, two feet horizontally and six feet vertically gives you the vertex, right? That's the maximum height here. So let's see, our vertex is 2 comma 6. We have this other random point, which is where he started from, which is 0, 0. So reminders, this is H, K. Your point is X, Y. And the vertex form of the equation, the quadratic equation, is Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. Replace what we know. We know Y. We know X, we know H, we know K. So we know everything in that, uh, that setup except for the A value. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. So negative 6 is equal to 0 minus 2 would be negative 2 squared. So that's going to be 4. And divide both sides by 4. So A is equal to negative 6 over 4 reduces to negative 3 halves, okay? And the last thing is to actually write the function that would model a successful jump. So if we do this, we've got f of x is equal to, you know your A value now, times x minus h was 2 squared plus k is Okay. All right. One last problem here. Let's talk about Tori. 
Okay, Tori drop kicks the football, and the path of the football through the air is modeled by a quadratic function. Her foot kicks the football at a height of two feet above the ground. The football reaches a maximum height of 55 feet when the ball is 30 feet from Tori. Write an equation to model the height of the football as a function of its horizontal distance from Tori. Okay, so same thing we've been doing with the last couple of problems, right? Draw yourself a little xy axis. On the x axis, we're going to be talking about horizontal distance. Okay, so horizontal distance from Tori. Okay, so that means that Tori is standing right here. Okay, she is that like origin point of your um, coordinate plane. And then the y axis is going to be the height of the football. Okay. So it says Tori drop kicks a football. So I mean, she's holding it and she drops it. Her foot kicks the ball at a height of two feet above the ground. Okay, the ball goes flying through the air. All right, eventually comes back to the ground. The football reaches a maximum height here of 55 feet. That is quite a kick. When the ball is 30 feet from Tori. So let's start with this first point where the ball starts. At the point where Tori kicks it, that ball is not any horizontal distance from her, but it is two feet high. At its maximum, the ball is 30 feet from Tori and 55 feet high. So we have a vertex point, in this case a maximum of 30-55 and we have some other random point that is 0, 0,2. So 3055 is your HK, that's your vertex point. Uh, your other point on the curve, in this case 0, 0,2 is XY. So you've heard this now a bunch of times, right? This is vertex form. Plus K. All right, let's fill in what we know. We know Y is 2, A is, I don't know what A is, that's why I need to solve this. X is 0 minus H is 30 squared plus 55 for K. All right, I'm going to subtract 55. So let's see, that would be negative 50. Whoops, let's try and write a 5 first. Uh, 53 is equal to A times negative 30 squared. Uh, let's see, negative 53 is equal to A times, I'm pretty sure negative 30 squared is 900. It is. Okay, let's divide both sides by 900. I have a guess that that fraction is not going to reduce, but I am going to use my handy-dandy calculator and check. I guessed correctly that fraction does not reduce. And unless the directions say otherwise, please just leave it as the fraction it is. Um, that's exact, and so let's just go ahead and use exact. All right, since I have some space at the bottom here, I'm going to put the function down here. f of x is equal to negative 53 over 900 times x minus 30 squared plus 55. So that equation would model the path of the football that Tori drop kicks, all right? So these are word problems. It's something that you're going to have to practice, especially the annotating and the picture making part of it. Once you get it into the picture, you should be able to find two pieces of information. One piece of information is going to be your uh, vertex. The other is going to be some other point on the graph, okay? so. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope this has helped to clarify how to do these types of problems.